Okay, today we're going to do Harrow. And um, Harrow is not the hardest, but it's definitely not easy. So what's happening is um, I'm using Matter Ray Void Strike, and I'm in void mode the whole time, or as long as I can be in void mode, and I'm um, just charging up my Matter Ray Void Strike. So the longer I'm in void mode, uh, going operator and going to crouch to go into void mode, and um, we're going to be getting this um, this multiplier up. So the longer I'm in void mode, the bottom number goes up. The top number will only be at 8 when I first go into void mode and don't shoot anything. If I shoot something with um, Matter Ray Void Strike at max, um, it should be 8. But um, if I shoot something, it's going to go down. And every time I shoot, it's going to go down. It's a good reason not to bring a melee weapon. See, I don't got a melee weapon. I'm trying to hit my melee, but it's not working. Um, don't, because if you slam the ground with your melee, you're going to waste um, a couple of your shots of Matter Ray Void Strike. You don't want that. Sticking it off is the best bet. I'm sure you're going to be able to use those eight shots, unless you shoot your amp at something you don't want to, or Void Blast the ground, or um, really almost anything. And we're going to be uh, charging up our amp for the whole time um, until the... Um, until I'm needed. So we're going to be taking turns on this run and this run only because, well, we got the luxury of sitting in the planes. See, there's still three more minutes left before night. So we're going to be able to utilize the three minutes still to charge up even more damage. Um, so I'm, with everyone charging up th um, their matter of voice strike, except for the DPS, the DPS is using Unaro with Unaro Wisp, but we're using matter of matter of voice strike. So um, we're going to be, there's three people, the Volt, the Trinity, and the Harrow. They're all using Matter Ray Voice Strike, and the DPS is using Unara Wisp. And they're going to be, um, spawning Wisp for us. I'll explain that in just a little bit. Okay, so we're using Arcane on our amp called Virtuous Shadow. Virtuous Shadow says 40% of the time we do a headshot, we get 60% extra crit chance. Well, we're not going to shoot the island side to get that headshot, because that would waste some array shots. Stop number. No good. What we're going to do is we're going to dash the island's head. Okay, so we're just going to dash. To dash forward and backwards, pretty simple. I find the very end of the dash be more um, more likely to activate your arcane, because there's only 40% chance you're going to get this. So even even if you're shooting, you might shoot all your eight shots and you'll have no multiplier for the damage to the shields, the island. The only way to damage those shields is with void damage. That's with your amp. Okay, your operator. So we're going to be dashing the island's head. Uh, forward and backwards and how we do this is the whole time i explain this i'm holding down the crouch button and operator i press the jump button all oh, that's all the only thing i'm holding down is the crouch i press the jump button that's it and i go forward i hold it back and then i press jump again you do not have to be holding forward to dash forward guys big thing you don't need to be doing this it messes you up you can't put down energy pads see i see how i put down this energy pad i put this down because i'm using um a, a key binding so anything from slot one to slot 12 can be key bound to your hockey and um then i have um slot five for example bound to number pad zero so whenever it number pad zero well an energy pad will pop so that's what's designated for slot five for example slot one is f1 and so on and so forth i have my arc wings um bound to a button but it is oh that's k drive uh, Mark Wing. Uh, yeah. Slot my number pad one. So let's see here. We're going to be dashing out four times straight out. We don't want to be going outside the gate. We'll be spawning bombs. I am spawning Grenier because it's not nighttime. Only nighttime is when the um, island actually spawns. Okay. I'm playing Harrow. So. We're going to be going last, uh, typically in 5x3s and higher, or sometimes even 4x3s and higher, is um, you have an order of operation. If you don't know that order of operation, there's no harm in asking. So all you gotta do is be like, Trin, you taking four if you're, or who's going first, or who's going second, who's going third? Ask. There's a chat for a reason, guys. Okay. 
dashing of four times to spawn the Vombolus. Enemies will spawn in your location, where you are on the map. And how many people in the party will determine if how many enemies will spawn. Some bombs there. And now we're going to go to Eidolon. Harrow's job is to use his Covenant. Covenant is, um... Covenant will... How do I explain this? Give you a brief, short burst of immunity. With whatever damage you're taking during this time of immunity, will be converted into crit chance. So, the more strength you have on a Harrow, the more crit chance you deliver. It's not the immunity that the hero is there for, it's a crit chance. The immunity is nice, but at the end of this immunity, as you see here, you'll see the crit chance come up. The crit chance persists for the same time until the DPS hit that limb, as you see. With no less than 92% duration, no higher than 95% duration, I'm able to recast this ability between limbs. There's the shortest time possible too. So um, if it's a six by three or five by three, all that means is the speed of what you're doing it at. And, or four by three, three by three, two by three, one by three, one by one, all that stuff. Um, the very first number of the equation of what I'm saying is how many times we go into the planes and the second number is how many islands we kill each time we go into the planes. So one by three is capturing the Hydra list once in the whole 50 minutes. Or a 6x3 is Caption Hydra six times in 50 minutes. Okay. So, when the island's standing up, we're also going to be using our fourth ability. I'm going to be showing you cues on when to do this. So there's visual cues. Stay by the DPS until you hear the ding of the last bit of health being depleted. You don't spread your wings to go in Arcwing, okay? This is because when you go in Arcwing, you will be um, canceling the buff from everybody else that you applied it to. And like I said, you're not there for the immortality. You're there for the crit chance to the DPS. Okay. Not going this one either. I'll be explaining that in just a moment. Uh, so, now, time to cast your covenant. I watched the island's head, and watch, see how he puts his head down, and he goes, meow. So, whenever his head goes down, is going down, going back up, with no less than 92% duration, no higher than 95, that's perfect. For anything, there's so much wiggle room, it's not even funny. That's why I say no less than 92, no higher than 95. There's lots of wiggle room, and we're not robots. Okay, so um, that's the gauntless, like, like let's say that's the the terrorless, gauntless, hydralist, all all of his magnetic spikes are covered with no less than 92, no higher than 5. Okay, and um, so strength the more strength you have, the less damage you need to, to obtain to get to that um, that 50% critical chance added a bonus to the dps it's really who you were trying to give it to um and i only need about so i'm gonna say no more than 2000 damage to reach maximum i don't know exact number of it let's see if i can oh um, yeah that wasn't how i wanted it natural talent speed drift works wonders on a um on a harrow, because the faster you can get out of that animation you spinning, the the faster you can um, do your other tasks that you need to be doing. Or being in void mode, for example, to get more damage. We don't have this luxury of having this much damage in the next runs. We're all going to be shooting. The very first run is the only time we take turns. So, when the island's down is back, we're going to be casting our fourth ability again. But there's no magnetic spikes. But don't worry, there's Zenobia goo in the ground. And we're going to use this. So the sentient juices um, will damage us. They're not damaging me now because I'm in void mode. 
but I go in avoid mode. I hit my fourth ability, stand in it. As you see, I'm taking damage. This is all as needed. Forty-nine percent, and that's slapped on. So if he had just fifty percent critical chance on his weapon, fully modded out, and I hit that that uh, that hair buff, it's always going to be a critical hit because it's a hundred percent. If he had 150% critical chance on his weapon, and I slapped that on, he was always going to be getting those orange crits. Like, it's literally slapping 50% on to a final build of his weapon. Very nice. Okay. So, I'm just shooting the ground through a shield. When you shoot through a shield, you um, get that 200% 200% uh, critical damage, and also you're not going to get knocked back by your amp's blast radius. Excuse me. Okay, so... We're dashing the island's head. Like I said, the very end of the dash is more consistent. So what I do is I cast my fourth ability away from the island, go an operator, get that sweet spot, dash forward and backwards, and get to activate that critical um, virtuous shadow, which is... Uh, 60% extra critical chance for the next 12 seconds. I got my buff. Cool. I can do it before the magnetic scream. Doesn't matter. There's plenty of ways to play um, a shield breaker, guys. To be honest, There's so many different ways. But, um, like, for example, dashing Nylon's head and the wisp is. I didn't block you. Did I block you? I thought you were blocking me. <laughs> um, oh, did I? Oh, no. So there's a wisp. For example. I didn't see any of that time. Okay. So. Oh, there's no wisp anymore. Well, I will show you that in the next run. Hydralis is no Sinovia goo. Tearless and Gauntless says it, but um, you just want to be hit by these lightning strikes. It's not too hard. I don't think they can really miss you. <laughs> so, whenever the Eilon moves his hand over to stand up, that's when I'm going to cast my fourth ability. Oh, now. I don't want to fall in the water, though. If I fall in the water, I am going to cancel my fourth ability. Just like going in Arcwing. So. But this can be a blessing, not just a curse. You see, pretend I cast my fourth ability too soon. Or too late. I can reset the timer's cooldown. Because I can't recast this ability now, see? I, I can't. I, it won't let me. But I can recast it only if I go into Arcwing or fall in the water. So this gives you an option. Like, oh shit, like, I I need to cast it. And I and I cast it too late the first, like, the limb before that. And now I don't have, um, the cooldown's too long. Go into water. And um, that will work. That will cancel the um, buff on it. And then you recast it. In theory, you can make someone permanently immortal with that okay we dash it four times we spawn some bombs I'm gonna mark them for the DPS and I'm gonna go directly to Eilon everybody's shooting now dashing Eilon's head see these wisps here oh someone grabbed them but this wisp is a hundred percent extra damage for the next 12 seconds what else was 12 seconds and that was virtuous shadow and Virtuous Shadow. So it doesn't matter if I grab the Wisp first or dash the head first. They're both 12 second long buffs. Don't be grabbing too many Wisps. A good VS knows that he only needs one Wisp. And everybody should know this, but one Wisp is all you need. I see how many I grab. As long as you're grabbing as little as you can, you're doing great. I know I missed that magnetic spike, but I'm trying to focus on helping you guys out. So, 
Um, you want to be grabbing a wisp, dashing the island side, or dash the island side, grab a wisp, or cast your ability. I right, grab grab a wisp, cast your ability, dash the head, or dash the head, pass the ability, and grab a wisp. There's there's plenty of ways to play hero. Do you see how? So if I have my my Madurai Void Strike at seven shots between an Eilon, the last one being broken, I will um, waste those shots. Anything less than eight, I'll waste them. Make sure I'm charged up eight. Because if everyone charges up eight shots, we'll have enough to uh, take out that Eilon in no time. We're not waiting. We're not we're not depending on one person. We're depending on all three. It's a team effort. So shoot. Being bad, Harrow. I'm horrible. So let's go back to the wisp thing for a second. Okay. So the wisps, uh, Unara wisps, are single time use on a server level. Um, so, for example, if I took every wisp on my screen, as you noticed uh, earlier, all of them disappeared on my screen. That's because someone else picked them up. So, single time use on a server level, which if I picked them all up, they'd be gone for everybody. So, the least you pick up, the better. The more DPS spawns, the better as well. When a Propa hits um, an object, it'll blow up instantly. That's why we're just shooting the ground. Because uh, the island's actually coming out of the ground. Whoa, round, round. Coming out of the ground at the, the location that he walks out to. So he's walking out from the water to the shore. Where we straight walking at the shore, that's where his hitbox is, guys. All right. So let's cast my fourth ability. I like to cast my fourth ability first at a, at a distance where I can grab the, um, oh man, I missed. <laughs> uh, grab the, um, grab the uh, virtuous shadow. So I go away, go on operator, I dash, get my virtuous shadow, grab a wisp, walk back, add a shield, and I shoot. Nothing else. As soon as you get one whisk, get out of there. Oh, I have six shots of Mattery Void Strike. I'm gonna waste them, but I'm just Void Blast in the ground. You can do whatever you want. You can shoot your amp or whatever, you know, that wastes them too. Standing up. Stand some cinema juice to get that damage up. Don't go in arc wing till you hear the ding, or I just dash over there. So, to utilize the most uh, Madurai voice strike charges as possible, this bomb number thing here, I am picking up the, the uh, loot from the lures as an operator. And putting them into the shard. And the shrine, I mean. The shards into the shrine. Just remember that if you pick it up as an operator, you gotta put it into the shrine as an operator. If you pick up the shard as a warframe, you're going to have to put it into the, the shrine as a warframe. If you pick up the shard as an operator and go into warframe, you have to put the shard into the shrine as a warframe. So 
Oh man, I think I forgot to play Harrow. Uh, no, you blocked me that time. Shoot, I'm forgetting. Okay, I, that was off timing. So I'm gonna lose energy and my team's losing energy now. But I was off timing. I can go in the water. And now my I can recast this ability. Bruh. What? Bruh me. Brahm. Brahmas. I'll just, I'm using a 177 amp. So based on my amp composition is um, the Rat Black, the Propa and the Certus Brace. So Propa is my scaffold. You should primarily be using it. Oh yeah, darn it. Um, let's see here. So let's see. Let's see. Cast my fourth ability. Take as much damage as I can. Heard the ding. Go an arc wing. The one reason why I'm going to the, the gate right away and the shrine is because I know my teammates are moving the lures. If you want to see how that um, is done, you can always check out my DPS or my Trinity runs. I stream every day on Twitch. If you ask me there, I'll, always, I'll be glad to, to answer you or you can take a peek at my, my um, you, other YouTube videos. Okay, so let's go on operator. Whoops, and I dash out four times. Spawn some bombs. Nice. Going to Ilon. I don't have to dash. I can just go and not. Uh, I can go. Um, in Arcwing, it absolutely does not matter. I like them since they uh, they came out. Like the, the I like them at, since the like Gauntlet and Hydra's came out. That that that's that's it's because when I start learning them, everyone be in the planes about 15, 20 minutes early, and we'd be discussing and what we're going to be doing. And in that time, the metas were formed. You understand? The metas were made. Were made. So, wasting those four shots I have left in my sh my amp, or my uh, virtuous shadow, I should say. I uh, sorry, um, void strike. Wasting the shots I have my void strike and uh, recharging. Eight shots. Um, you don't need any range on Harrow. Zero range at all. Harrow is based off of any range. It's 50 meters. Is Ireland something? Yeah. Damn it, I have no... Okay, that's... That. A lot of people don't know the V's toggle crouch. Well, guess what, guys? Feast toggle crouch. Okay. 
good plat source back in the day. Real good plat source back in the day. Like these arcanes were going for like five hundred for energize. Five hundred plat for an energize. That's disgusting. Mm. Excuse me. Why you ask? Nah. For rank zero, they used to be. That's why they're such a good plat source. They were. Now, and now it's just because it's one of the few things I truly enjoy um, doing. It's because like the volts putting down shields. Um, preventing the magnetic waves, you know, the Trinity's going to get the lures, keeping them safe. You know, the DPS is blowing out the limbs. It's all a team effort. You know, it's like a raid. Closest thing we got to raids right now. Oh, we're, we're doing, like, we're not robots, but shit, like, it's, it's pretty fun once you get that groove going. Okay. Back before that, they're like 5,000 or 1,000 a piece. But keep in mind, you only need it 10 to make it a max rank. There, there's no answer for that, um, Dreo. Um, because... I'm learning something new every day about Eilons. And I and I have like 18,000 hunts that I I've I've completed the the hydros 18,000 times. That's a lot. I'm going at 19,000. And I'm still learning. It's pretty crazy. Got an operator. For a second, I didn't think I was recording. I'm like, oh. six by three is a whole different level, dude. A whole different level. Not just you, but your teammates have to be at the same level. If your teammates ain't the same level, then you're probably not going to be doing one. Just because everyone can 5 by 3 does not mean you can 6 by 3 Do you understand? There's a lot of wiggle room in that. Between a 5 and a 6. Is 5 by 3 plus 2? There's a lot of wiggle room. <sighs> I hate that question, but I'll answer it anyway. Is 6x3 possible? In theory, yes. Has anyone ever been do it? It's not being able to do it or not. That's that's not the that's not the question that you want to ask. Is your luck good enough? Now that might be the better question. Because this is how it works. For a solo run to be Fast enough, you need the correct spawn of the terror list. You need to be critting every time when you hit with your amp. There's no way to guarantee a crit, but there's a way in to enhance it, which is what we're doing. We're dashing an island's head. Um, so it's a great question, actually, to answer right now. Um, so yes, in theory, it is possible, but I'm going to say no because it's improbable. It takes a lot of resources to do it, like energy pads. You're, you're, you need to be in void mode, but you also have to be charging up lures. You got to be, there's so many little things you got to be doing. Um, I'm actually playing with somebody that had a world record for quite a long time. I don't know if he still holds it or not. In my eyes, he does. But um, that's... Uh, double XF and uh, he does solo runs and he goes through a lot of resources and so 
think about it on youtube you see these runs right and you'll see them at um eight minutes or whatever right solo but that's just their best run that's that's the run that they uploaded because they finally got it at that 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 speed or that whatever you know what i'm saying and um so that's why it's on youtube but what you don't see is them going out of the planes and back in the planes out of the planes back in the planes to get the right tear list spawn as soon as they get the right tear list spawn that's when um they actually continue with the hunt Really like to learn a five by three run? Well, you're in my channel, dude. There's nothing, nothing um, I can say, but I mean, I've taught a lot of the community. Some crazy hunters. How to hunt. Grab a wisp, okay. Wow. That device is insufficient. You are directed to secure and employ additional recruit chats. Yep. So whatever hunts that you you um can successfully do or have successfully done maybe, um why not? I like so when you're looking at recruit chat, I call it Craigslist. So you're either gonna get or you're, you're going to do it or they're going to do it to you. Okay. And, uh, you know. And uh, that's why I call it Craigslist. But if you go to recruit chat or whatever and you successfully do your three by three, for example. Add those people to your friends list or your two by three or whatever you're looking for. And you successfully do that run. Add those people to your friends list. They like Eidolons. If they're doing them, I don't know why they're doing them if they don't like them. And then on the on the next uh, part, if you're doing recruit chat, then you're going to be recruiting for the roles, like a hero or a Volt and all that stuff too. So they're going to be playing a different role than you. Build an army. You're gonna you're gonna have a friends list in no time, with in like a month or so. That they're going to be asking you to hunt. Half the time you wouldn't even have to have to look. They'll just ask you if you want to hunt. It's really nice, and you, you get friends, you get islands, and you know, it's really nice. Oh, I put mine in. Yeah. Make sure you don't leave the uh, the shrine until you see insert. I uh, remove shard. Um, it possibly could make your PP bigger. The more friends you have in Warframe, it's can't say it's proven, but I can't say it's not proven to uh, make your PP bigger. So that if it's if it's you know, that seems like a po positive to me. I, I think I'm in. I think I need some more. Still can't see it. But that's all right. It's a, it's it, it's it's the. It's I know I have one, so it counts. <laughs> okay. That's not the first step. I mean, I'm playing with Linger. He has a hard disk drive on his computer. I've done multiple 6x3s with Linger. That's an old strategy where you wanted to load in fast. But now since everything, everyone loads in the same time, 
and um, in reality here here's the sad truth you can't load in any faster than the host you can't load out and the host can't load out faster than the last person loading out you see host is always the first person to load into a mission but the last to load out of every mission so and the, it's the same thing for open worlds the host loads in first and then everyone else loads in you see host is number one you see this little number here that's how you can tell who host is and now if you see this two three and four that's the positions of how we load it in so nah loaded in second i loaded in third and then linger i am um, valentine i loaded in fourth that's all it is I can show you something else about host here in a second. <laughs> you have a time to learn? You, you can learn it here. I've been, uh, like I said, I have the most eye line really on this side of the world. So if I can't teach you, I don't think anyone else really could. And the information you get on my stream is, I don't know. If you ask a question, I'll be able to help you out. Thank you for the follow, Great Bear. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Um, so I'm utilizing all those shots can see Eilons. Once? What do you mean, once? Yeah, it was crazy, right? I'll do it again for you. Don't tempt me. I'll do it. Blitz. Okay. So make sure I cast a fourth. And this is the only external buff that uh, DPS would ever really need. Flat crit chance, that's that's powerful. See, statuses don't work against the Eilon. My status is not working as Eilon. Well, we only have crits on our upper sleeve. So we're using, uh, we're utilizing the crits. It's always a healthy habit to um, be wasting, even though it's a Hydralis, at the end, as soon as the last limb's broken, just waste all your shots. Use, use primary, whatever. Doesn't matter. Waste them. And then charge up again. Okay. You need to level up Matarai more? Yep, Matarai voice strike is what we're using. Yes. Islands is a great way to focus, like to focus farm. See the focus from the the um, brilliant and radiant island shards is not um, can, not limited by your daily standing. So your daily standing is pretend it's like a thousand or something like that. You get a thousand a day, and you're oh well, I can't get any more standing. Well, that's not true. So wait for nighttime in, in Cetus, and um, you can then you 
you can then um, convert that focus into focus. Brilliant is 20 or 25,000 and Radiance are 40,000. I think they're 25,000. Yeah. That's why you should try that recruit chat strategy. If you liked how they played and add them as a friend, be like, yo, Island, do you want to do Island buddies or whatever? Like, like Island buddy question mark. That's all right. You're going to grow together. It's not just you getting better. Like they're going to be getting better too. Share your strategies with each other. It, it all helps guys whether you think it does or not it really does if you want me to um, even go finer tuned than that when you're getting groups and set yourself to um ping limit of like 200 ping or like 150 and then when you um when you go into uh kanzu or uh yeah go into kanzu maybe you can find someone there that's even close like that lives close to you that likes eidolons what frames does the team use here harrow volt trinity and volt so there's one volt dps breaking the limbs and there's one volt breaking the shields one trinity gathering lures and i'm playing harrow i'm making it so people have to watch all my videos to get the whole understanding of idolon hunts basically is how I'm doing it. Wisp is not needed. Oops, my eyes, Wisp is the most useless frame on a Eidolon hunt that you could replace for something that's actually gonna help you in the long run. You see, I, I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna clarify myself, okay, right now. Wisp is only bad for people that want to learn Eidolons. Because when you're trying to learn Eidolons, guess what happens? No, sorry, actually, when you're trying to learn Eidolons, how many hunts are you doing in a night cycle? I'm going to ask you that. You, you don't just start up to, to uh, six by three. You, 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 do, you do three by three, two by three, four by three, whatever you, you know? And... That's why Wisp is not recommended, because the more time the island has to attack, the more time, the more chances, whoops, the more chances, um, the lure is going to break. You see, Wisp does nothing for the, the, um, nothing for the, um, the lures. It shows, for example, there's a wisp on this team. Is there any anything on these um, these lures right now? Oh, I have six. Second air. Mm. Doesn't look like it. But wisp's ability shows that it's they're going around the lures, but they do not affect the lures. They don't give them more health. Doesn't regen. Doesn't make them move any faster. You move faster and you have health, but that's it. They're allies. But it doesn't affect them. You cannot out heal the laser beams with anything but trinity because you give the damage reduction to everybody that's affected by the blessing which is 50 meters and 150 percent strength on trinity is enough to give maximum damage reduction do you see where i'm coming from trinity's the reason why i use trinity is not for the heal but it's because of the damage reduction wisp people say wisp because either they're ignorant or 
they think that everyone does five by threes and six by threes or six by threes plus. And even at a five by three level, I still had lures die. The more the more time lures Sorry. More lures are dying, the more time you're gonna have to go and spend not shooting the nylon. And get lure, charge it up. And you wanna be well, not worrying about lures. You know, it's it's trendy's there for to keep them alive. But what what the real reason for for a wisp is is for meme runs and this is truly in my eyes okay i'm almost done clarifying this so a meme run is um when he wisp is only fine for like a five by three plus like one or more in my eyes And then Trinity's preferred through everything. But um, a meme run, for example, you're taking a weapon that's off meta, or maybe it's just, it's not a sniper at all, like a completely off meta. Like it's not no not you're not using sniper as a DPS, and um, you need something that can um, compensate for something. I'm using. What am I using on here? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, Mega Sock Down? And something else. But when you're first starting out, try Megas Vigor and Megas Husk. My operator amps are yeah, Virtuous Shadow, Megas, and Megas Lockdown? No, uh, that's not true. Uh, Blitz. Um, Virtuous Arcanes go in the amp. Megas Arcanes go in the Operator. Operator has two slots available for Arcanes, and uh, Arcane on your amp, there's only one slot for Arcane on your amp. Oh, cool. Well, if you want any updated builds, exclamation mark in, in my chat with uh, the, the Warframe that you want, or the weapon. And we'll have that there for you, for island hunts. Yeah, we have lots of commands in. You can type them even if I'm offline too. It's really nice. Oberon's valid in my eyes as a DPS, because he is smite. Okay, this is their sixth run. We have plenty of time. Four bombs. We're going to Eidolon. Here's a little tip to get the most of your damage. Watch this. So I got my Wisp. I dashed the head. I'm behind the shield already. But before I shoot, I'm going to go out of void mode. This is... It gives you the calculations for how long you're in void mode and applies it to your next stacks. But if you shoot before you go to void mode, so if I'm holding down the crouch button as I'm shooting or while I'm shooting, I'm not going to utilize that extra 1% to 2% extra multiplier of damage, which can be make or break sometimes. It's a good habit. Pop out of void mode and then shoot. Sorry. I'm just going to step right back. Okay. Same by the DPS. Find, locate my Synovia goo. So. He really likes me. 
Thanks for the follow. If I could spell say your name, I would, but I can't because I don't know um, how to say that. Thank you. Really do hero right on. But you've already followed me though. Trailer, you you already followed me. I'm watching you. He really likes me. Thanks a lot for the follow. Is that nah? I recognize those. That's nah, right? It is, it is, uh, maxed out, boys. Or maybe it's not, I don't know. If it's not, that's even funnier. What overlay? The one above my camera? Or the one, um... Really? It just shows that you don't need shit maxed. <laughs> I wonder if I, I wonder how many people seen that and were like, why the f does he have rank four? You know. What's he doing? <laughs> oh well, that's, that's all right. It's only been like three thousand, four thousand, maybe six thousand. No, I never switched my arcanes in like a year, dude. It's been like ten. It's no, it's been like six thousand, five thousand. Yeah, it's all right. You just don't like me anymore. Let's see how it is. That's why you, that's why you unfollowed me. All right, guys, your first follow, you get yourself five hundred points, and the longer you watch the channel, the more points you get. He really likes me. You don't know why it's like four guys. To be honest, it, I don't know. It shouldn't be. It should be at rank five. I'll be proc virtual shadow like fucking no. Uh, every time. Consent. Yes. Consent is in the channel. Thanks for the follow consent. Wee wee. <laughs> I'll be your little French girl. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> that device is insufficient. You are directed to secure and employ. Have I been casting my fourth ability at all? Just this curious, because I go brain dead a lot when playing Harrow. So, just in case I wasn't, you know, just let me know. <laughs> no. Yes, yeah, so I'm using a 177 amp, guys. The first number in this equation is the prism. I think of P as in prism for primary fire, which is most button one by default. Think of, um, so the next number is scaffold, which is, um, a propa is in s uh, the seventh scaffold, um, which is, um, think of S is in scaffold for secondary fire, which is default to middle mouse button. And think of brace is in bonus for, um, 
for um, the brace. B is in bonus for brace. And that bonus applies to not only your primary, but your secondary as well. And that's the um, Certus Brace. Yeah, that's good. That's still good. Shrank. Swank. Shrank. Lauren. That's 223. Two, yep. We have an exclamation mark amp guide if you are, in are interested in it. Mm. They fixed it. Um, so, exclamation mark amp, and you'll see what the amp is. Yep. It's very, very helpful. Shows you what parts. It's cheat sheet, really. There we go. That's a six by three, boys. Stealing my shards. Let's see how it is. So, so it's six, uh, three by three. Nice. Alrighty, so, um, hope you liked that uh, little tutorial, and we are doing a giveaway at the end of the island hunt, and also, um, check out the merch, beautiful merch in there, guys, SMH merch, I'll link below, and, um, don't forget to check out the other, uh, island hunting videos. For my build, arrow, I'll show you that real quick. So I'm gonna upgrade and we will, see I have 92% duration. No less 92, no higher than 95. Solid build. Okay, um, I have a weapon on just because I have to have a weapon and uh, you don't want a melee on. My, um, Itzel is same as always. Cold snap, just because I can and I don't have to keep on switching it. And uh, Hyperion thrusters to move faster. The light intrinsics help you move faster in the planes. Also, note that I do not have vacuum or fetch on my, um, my Sentinel. We have worm, and it has um, it can it can regen, but not only that, it has this augment here, um, so it prevents the first stacks from applying. Getting knocked down is a status effect, guys, so you won't get knocked down, as well as um, the synths for when I'm DPSing and stuff. It's really nice if I need it. And on the worm's weapon, this is more for a DPS, but I'll show you anyway. And it's um, a vigilante set. So the sets are still applied, even though even if the, the, the sentinel's dead, it still applies. It's beautiful. Not getting knocked down is a status, guys. Yes, you don't get knocked down. All right. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great couple more videos.